Hey guys, today in the mail, this box arrived, and I have a pretty good idea what it is. So I'm just going to take my trusty box cutter here, get that nice and open. Let's see what's inside. Inside the box is a bag. Inside of the bag. There we go. It looks like this is a Banana Pro single board computer from the Maker. Let's have a little look inside here. All right. First up, we've got this very nice instruction booklet uh, detailing everything that's inside. The opening line, I'll just read it to you. Banana Pro is an updated version of the Banana Pie designed by the LeMaker team. It has more enhanced features. We'll have a look at what those are. It's a nice looking book, guys. You did, uh, you made that look pretty good. All right, sweet. Next up is this thing. I have no idea what that is. That, what on earth? So this looks like it's shrink wrapped like that. And this looks like, oh, do you know what that is? That is an antenna for the Wi-Fi module, which the new Banana Pro has. Let's, uh, let's just put that down for a sec. See what else there is in the box. Here it is, the new Banana Pro. All right, uh, that seems like everything inside the box. So uh, what I'll do here, uh, I'll just get this stuff open and I'll be back in a second. Okay guys, so let's just do a quick walk around the board. Uh, we'll start here with the power, which isn't on the edge, but it's kind of one in from the edge. So that's the power onto the board. This is your eSATA in. And this is a uh, power for your eSATA. And next we have your HDMI, which is now 1.4 compatible. Uh, around here we have a, a small switch. I'm not sure what that switch is. And these are the JTAGs. This is a gigabit ethernet port. Next we have two USB 2s and an infrared sensor on that corner. Here we have the AV output. Uh, so it's a 3.5 millimeter multi-purpose jack. Uh, next we have the microphone, which is right in there. I'm trying to keep my hands as steady as possible. And these are the 40 GPIO pins to uh, bring it up to speed with some of its competitors. Along here we have the uh, power and reset button. And this is the OTG, or debugging port. Just a couple other things of note on the top of this board. We have the uh, camera and the LVDS. LVDS. Yeah, that's the camera and that's your LVDS there. Okay, just gonna flip the board over here just so we can see the underneath. The underneath we're dealing with a micro SD card. Again, much like its competitors. Talk about that more in a little bit. We have the all winner A20 CPU. This is a dual core one gigahertz. And these are the two 512 modules so that you get one gigabyte of RAM. This is the uh, PSU, the power unit, uh, which does the power management. And this, of course, is our new Wi Fi Bluetooth module. Uh, and you can see just there, that's the little antenna connector where I'll be connecting up the radio antenna for it. Now, I just want to have a quick look here at the, uh, at the quality of the manufacturing of the board. Oh, sorry, just trying to do it in front of the camera here. Now, the soldering on there looks, looks pretty good and of a slightly higher standard, uh, possibly, than the previous version of the board. Again, I'm so zoomed in, it's difficult to get that. go. And see, so just so you can see some of the components here. It looks like it's done to a, to a very high standard. 
Okay, with the Banana Pro there in the middle, it probably makes sense to talk about it in relation to both its previous incarnation, here the Banana Pi, and on the left, the Raspberry Pi. Now, first thing to say is, you can see that the Banana Pi is a much larger board. Uh, it's certainly not competing with the Raspberry Pi in terms of size. Um, the Raspberry Pi, I would say, is significantly smaller, and you'll see that the placement of the mounting holes here and here on the Raspberry Pi is different than the slightly inset holes there and the corner holes over there, although this is much more reminiscent of the previous Banana Pi. In terms of the way things are laid out, on the old Banana Pi you can see that the uh, 3.5 millimeter jack and the old TV output have been replaced by the single jack. Of course, it still has a microphone, as did the uh, previous version, although I'm sure you'll find that no cases uh, leave holes for that. That's a little joke for those of you who haven't watched my case review for the Banana Pi. Looking at the uh, Raspberry, you can see that it's got the 40 GPIO pins, and they, of course, uh, have made the 40 GPIO pins. But the substantial difference between these two boards uh, not only are there more USBs on the Raspberry Pi, but the chip on the Raspberry Pi is a 700 megahertz chip as opposed to the dual core 1 gigahertz chip on the Banana Pro, which is the same as it was on the Banana Pi. Now the Banana Pi, if you've seen my review, it actually did pretty well with the uh, All Winner A20 chip. Uh, I was impressed with the speed of it. Things seemed to load pretty quickly. Uh, I'm even considering, I was even considering using this as a replacement for a desktop. Uh, although now that I've got the Pro, I think I'll probably use that one instead. If you'd like to see some benchmarks for the Banana Pro, you can go over and check out my friend Derek Dickerson's page. He's got a really cool YouTube video which explains uh, in some detail about the performance that you get out of the Banana Pro. Okay, just in terms of price on Amazon.com, uh, the Banana Pro is selling for 80 bucks currently, the Banana Pi is selling for 50 bucks currently, and the Raspberry Pi is selling for 35 bucks currently. So uh, in terms of price, uh, for a little more than double you could go to the Pro, uh, for about 15 bucks more than the Raspberry Pi, you could go with the uh, Banana Pi. And to be honest, the looking at these two, because these already come mounted, these extra pins, you get, you get your 40 pins anyways. It is a bit of a wonder why the Banana Pro uh, went with this. Probably just to, you know, reduce reduce the cost of two components down to one, uh, and switch to the newer micro SIM on the back. Uh, sorry, micro SD on the back. There'll be a video coming up shortly where I do a review of the Raspberry Pi Model B Plus, the Banana Pies, and of course the Hummingboard to discuss the advantages and disadvantages to each of them. But for now, let's stick with the Banana Pro because it is the most advanced, the newest of the different boards that we have here. Okay, so just one more quick look at the Banana Pro board uh, so that you can have a, a look at anything you want in full HD. Just gonna flip it over so you can see the other side. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget you can subscribe, like, and share. I heard recently that some people rejected the Banana Pi in its previous revision because they felt like it was a Raspberry Pi ripoff, and I, I think that's that's incorrect. I think that you should view these little boards as, uh, as beautiful little things as they are. If you want to learn more about uh, Linux development boards, uh, there's a great Facebook page you can go and check out. Uh, it's really cool. These boards are great, and if you think about a year ago, you know, we had we only had one board in the Raspberry Pi Model B, and now we've got the B+. The, the new A plus is great, the Banana Pi, the Banana Pi Pro, we've got the Hummingboard. There's so much exciting stuff happening in this area. Really, you, you shouldn't reject any of these boards uh, because they look familiar or whatever. This has 40 pins like the B plus, but it's a very different board and has twice the RAM and 
a much faster CPU. I'm looking forward to giving it a play, which is what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go find a micro SD card and I will post that video for you soon. Thanks again for watching. If you found this video particularly useful, you can buy me a coffee in the about section below. Don't forget to check out my Banana Pi project, my Banana Pro project, my Linux-based board projects, mostly around the Raspberry Pi because they're cheapest, and I have more of them. But there's lots of cool stuff, and you can use any of those projects across any of these boards with just a little bit of modification. Thanks again for watching. See you guys again soon.